Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Will and we are back with Genshin Impact today and we are continuing some of the uh, special events that are going on in Genshin Impact. Uh, we're continuing this whole uh, mushroom battle situation that's going on. I was just doing some of the uh, lesser ones for rewards and whatnot, so let's continue with the main story. The main thread of this event only five days left today's probably going to be the last day that we actually work on this hopefully we'll be able to bang through the rest of this uh the story's been okay i don't really like the new character they introduced i find her just kind of whatever <sighs> but hey oh oh wait actually hold on i think we already have um i was doing some grinding i completely forgot Ooh. Events, I think we have enough to actually get her. Yes, okay. We do, okay. Send invite. Wait, what? Quest. Incomplete. Ah, okay, so we have to complete a certain quest before we can get her. Alright, makes sense. And I'm assuming that's like the final step in this quest chain. And then after this, we'll uh, start on the other event, which involves a camera. I don't know how in-depth that's going to be. So today's stream might be short, depending on how long this is and how involved the other event is. We shall see. <laughs> Do you see? So we're starting this. Okay, we're going rock. Okay, his team is rock, fire. He's got the healer and electric. Um, let's go cryo. And let's plant. And we'll try to target the healer first. All right, go team. We got it. Today, very low energy. Haven't really been able to get much sleep other than like an hour here or there for a while, so pretty low energy today. Try to do a power nap. That didn't work. <laughs> Woke up even tireder than I did when I went in. It's like shit. Right. Dun 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 dun. Uh, it's you, the uncultured swine of the Nilut Pala Cup. Ugh, doucher. Hey, you potty mouth! What's your problem? The way you dote on your fungi! It's pathetic! What a joke! You make a mockery of the philosophy of the greatest beast tamer of all. The mighty Hania. Greatest beast tamer of all? <laughs> That's debatable. You keep telling yourself that. You were never gonna come close to facing Hania. Time for you to go home. taken out sweet All right just one dude left i think he might have been healed Let's finish this with the 
This guy's very tough. Happening. I trained my fungi non-stop! Maybe I should have been harder on them! <sighs> well, we beat him, but somehow Paimon isn't really in the mood to celebrate. Honestly, I'm surprised that they've been doing so much story. I thought they'd kind of do like maybe the first two rounds and then the rest we just kind of plow through until like the final round. But nah, this like every single round's been like a whole bunch of story beats and stuff tied with it. Pretty surprising. Traveler, Paimon, I made it through. That's amazing, Layla! You reached your goal! I heard you won against the unstoppable Hardy Two Blades, but you don't seem too happy about it. How come? It's just that... Oh, he was really mean. He said some weird things. I see what you mean. Yeah, somehow beast humors like him make me feel a little... Uh, sad. Yeah, he clearly doesn't know anything about Hania. He's just making assumptions about what she's like, based on a vague impression, and even trying to copy her. I'm sure Hania would feel uneasy about it too if she knew. Also, he's Wait, so cruel to his shroom buddies when they could have been friends. Mm, it's not just Damn Tess you. Either. It brings all the other contestants. Which I'm assuming. Right. I sworn I updated all of that. If only everyone was like you, this whole tournament would feel a lot less gloomy. But it's only because I'm not aiming as high. I just want to be able to take Twirly Whirly back to live with me. That's all. I need to Oh, looks like the next fight is you against me. Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. It doesn't matter who wins, this is just a little contest between friends. Streamlabs, damn you, I updated this on there and it apparently didn't go through. Let me update it. Do, 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 do. Okay, should be good. No, th this is just a very different looking Final Fantasy XII, don't worry about it. It went in a very different direction. Whatever deal this is, you seem very happy about it. Did I miss anything big while I was gone? Miko! You're back! Finally! You stuck off without saying anything last time, so we didn't get to tell you about the evidence we... <clears throat> um... Um... <laughs> Evidently, we have some things to discuss with you. Yes, well, it's been quite the ordeal for me, too. 
I only entered this tournament for a bit of fun, but now I've ended up in the semi-finals. I've barely had any time at all to spend with Soka and the others gathering source material for the novel. I'm sure you two will have a wonderful time in your fun and friendly match. I, on the other hand, have to take mine a little more seriously. I'm up against that stubborn young lady, after all. Yeah, who knew it'd get to this point? Miss Yai has to face off against Hania. Look on the bright side! Maybe Miko will help us defeat Hania! But that means we won't get to show Hania the error of her ways ourselves! Eh, whatever, Paimon just doesn't want to see Miko lose! Alright, that one was actually super quick compared to some of the other ones. Sweet. Alright, let's see here what she got. Looks like two wind types, ice, and then lightning. Oh, oh. Didn't even realize I could do that. Alright, that would have been helpful. Okay, so let's go. Our rock does a lot of damage. Um, let's go... This pyro, I think, does the radius effect damage. And then this one shoots, so... Range. I don't think any of them are... Sure to check. <laughs> I don't think any of them are actual healers. Maybe one of the other wind one that we don't have is a healer. So maybe I'll try to take that one out first. But yeah, there should only be, like, I think two more matches, I think, or three. Two. Two more matches left. And honestly, I'm surprised. I thought they'd do more of a cutscene leading up to her fighting her. Since she's, like, the new character for this event. Dun, 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 dun. but excited at the same time. You don't have to go easy on me. Twirly Whirly and team have weathered plenty of tough challenges already, and they know how to put up a good fight. So you and your shroom buddies can give it your all. Well then, prepare for battle, Layla and Twirly! some big damage. close. Someone else. Alright, yeah, that was super quick. Yeah, none of these fights have been really pretty. They've all been pretty easy. Should it win? It was a good feeling. 
If only every match could be as carefree as that. Uh, meanwhile, Miko's busy duking it out with Hania. Oh, Paimon's so nervous for her. Let's go see how she's doing. Yeah, honestly, I don't even notice it. It's like basic annoying anime voice. Like, it's in everything. Why is that, man? You just love this game with such a passion. Huh? It's over already? Then why is the atmosphere so heavy? Uh, does this mean Mika won? No, she lost. Your match is over too? You took your time. I'm assuming it was a close call. You sound way too relaxed for someone who just fought in the semifinals. Bet it was a walk in the park, huh? <laughs> yes. Ours was as far from a close call as you could get. All it took was a few short, sharp strikes for Blitzara and I. Oh, no way. Me too. Anxiety and depression, the two gifts that keep on giving. Yay. <laughs> To be beaten by Hania. Huh? What? You think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? Yes. <laughs> Very much so. Far from it, Hania. I know full well how serious you are about all this from your ironclad determination to annihilate an entire species. How would I ever dare mock you? That said, if you continue down this path and find that it leads somewhere quite different from what you had hoped, what will become of that ironclad determination then? I look forward to finding out. That's not your concern. Running away so soon? Miss Yai lost the match, but why is Hania the one who seemed upset? The situation gets more interesting with each development. Blitzara injured Pyro one soon after the match started, and Hania was clearly quite distressed. I simply pointed out that she's still deceiving herself, and her defenses began breaking down. She's more fragile than I'd imagined. Yeah, her story isn't the best. You mean... Hania isn't as heartless as she tries to make herself out to be? So she does care about Pyro 1. But she didn't mean to show it in front of you. Right answer. Now's our chance to get through to her. You, my little friends, are the only ones who can get her back onto the right path. But Hania's long gone now. Where should we look for her? Well, right now, I'm sure she must be wondering what it is that has made her suddenly start doubting herself after all this time. The answer lies with the three of you. I'm sure you all know where she's gone to. The place where I first met the Traveler in Paimon? Good point! It was when Layla mentioned her plan to bring her shroom buddies back home with her that Hania's mood suddenly changed. Layla, it seems like you're onto something. Let's catch up with Ania and set things straight. You should stay here, little Layla. I understand that you want to help Ania, but she's not the kind of person you're good at dealing with. Leave it to them this time. That's true. And if I said something that struck a nerve again, I'd only make things worse. Plus, you guys move pretty fast. Uh, 
If I tag along, I probably need to stop and gather my strength every ten minutes. Well, what are you waiting for, little one? Oh, my, you've been busier than I thought. In return, I give you a blessing from me. Good luck. I'll share my thoughts the next time we meet. Let's crack open the map and see where they are at. Alright, let's pop on over. Actually, we just blasted through those two matches way faster than I thought we were going to because the previous ones were quite a bit more lengthier with their uh, cutscenes and commentary and whatnot happening. Alright, let me actually check. I'm pretty sure there's only one match left. Well, let me check the uh, leaderboard. Did it? Okay, yeah, so it is only one left. So I assume as soon as we're done talking to her, we're probably going to have to go right back to where we were. Site, the thing we almost never use. Huh? Uh. It's our detective vision. Uh. How did you find me here? I know. And I'd probably be enjoying it if Pyro One were any other animal than a fungi. The next time we meet, we'll be in the finals. Whatever you have to say, save it for if you beat me. The fox lady said you might say that. You're pure of heart, kind, and believe the best in things. You wouldn't understand if I tried to explain. So, here, read this. Yeah, I'm not reading that. <laughs> my ancestors records. They were attacked by a horde of fungi in the rainforest. Many people were seriously injured. I don't get it. We were just attacking the babies and they were all like, hey, stop that. And it certainly never made it into any official records. But my family have been reading it to me since I was a child, constantly warning me of the grave threat that fungi posed to us. So that's what happened. Oh, no wonder you're so hostile towards fungi! Yeah! And anyway, doesn't your family's experience make this tournament all the more meaningful? The Wisdom Orb finally means that humans and fungi can live in peace together! It's not as simple as turning bad fungi into nice fungi with the Wisdom Orb. Plenty of scholars have experimented with similar things in my village in the past. But every one of them failed, gave up, and moved on. Even this new Wisdom Orb can only suppress the fungi's aggressive nature temporarily. Without this device, they're still extremely dangerous creatures. On top of that, the Orb's intellectual boost makes the fungi unnaturally strong. Too much elemental energy in one place is not a good idea, especially for people in poor shape already. If you've got a sensitive constitution and you start using a wisdom orb, you're gonna start experiencing symptoms pretty quickly. Wait, Layla's 
been coughing a lot lately. Could that be because of the wisdom orb? As you'll be well aware by now, all Caltilia cares about is his precious research. He just wants to expand his influence and increase the profile of the Beast Tamer event. Meanwhile, Alhingen's taking advantage of the situation. Impressed by Cautilia's research, he invested a huge sum into promoting the tournament, consequently lowering everyone's guard against the fungi. I don't trust either of them, period. I don't believe highly aggressive creatures like the fungi can coexist with humans. But I'm just another retired mercenary, so who's gonna listen to me? All I can do is play by their rules until victory is mine. Then I'll fight for the outcome I'm hoping for, and keep them from getting their way. I initially had a sliver of hope that you might help me in my endeavors. Guess that was pretty naive of me. But it doesn't matter what you think about all this, or what you think of me. I'm going to beat you, and then there will be nothing you can do to stop me. Because I am melodramatic. Acting? <laughs> This notebook is just a relic from my past now. Do whatever you want with it. Because come the day of the final, I'm going to declare the execution of all fungi. Including Pyro One. It's time to say goodbye to the past. God, what was the line from Futurama? That didn't go as planned. Well, there's only one option left. We gotta defeat Hedia in the final match! One of the uh, soap opera actors in Futurama, he's just like, I'm such a talented actor! He's just like, you emphasize things way too much. <laughs> yes, I'm so dramatic. Pause. Didn't Hania mention something about other researchers in the past trying to stop the damage caused by fungi too? There should be more information in this notebook. Let's take a look. Or not. And let's just get to the final fight so we can beat her ass and she can be all like, Wow, I was wrong about this. Okay, moving on. Bam. These look like research notes. Guess Hania's ancestors kept them after the scholars left. Whew. This section looks super complicated. The handwriting is really bad, and there are too many technical terms! Paimon can't make heads or tails of this! Wait, some of these look familiar, though. Oh, that's right! We saw them on the documents Dory gave us! Alright, let's put them side by side, go through carefully, and try to figure out what's written in these notes! Fuck me, are they seriously having us do this? A capturing device and a withering potion. So that's how it went down. The fungi only attacked Hania's ancestors because of what that potion did to them. And then the researchers built that device to try and capture the angry fungi. Also, if floral jelly is just an improved version of the withering potion, and the wisdom orb isn't Cautilia's invention either. He's basically giving someone else's invention a new name and passing them off as his own! He's a big fat liar! Why is Cautilia so eager to get people to use the Wisdom Orb anyway? Good question. We gotta warn El Hingen. He needs to stop bankrolling Cautilia right away! As for Hania, she has no idea that the fungi only attacked her ancestors because they were under the potion's influence. No wonder she holds it against them. Oh, don't worry, Bongo Head. Paimon knows you're not gonna turn evil because of some floral jelly. You stayed a very good fungus even after we turned off the wisdom orb. Whoa! You can understand what Paimon's saying? Oh, wow! You're getting smarter! Huh? Since when? Oh, Paimon didn't even notice. See, see, Hania was wrong after all. 
and just want to get along, like Fonzo had here. Oh, Pania did make one good point, though. The wisdom orb has its limits. As long as that's the case, Fungi won't be able to live with humans forever. Oh, my mom was really hoping Bongo Head could join us for the rest of our journey. Isn't there a way? Yeah. That's a bad camera shot. <laughs> There's no other choice. Yeah, there, there is. Hmm. We still have some time before the final. Should we report Cautilia to the Academia? True. For him to have made it this far, he must have been planning for a long time. If he caught wind of our plans to expose him, he'd definitely be wary of us. Whatever else happens, we have to give it our all on the day of the final. Let's beat Hania and knock some sense into her. Then we should get Elhinga to help us expose Kaltilia for the fraud he is. All right. And I don't think we'll get to be able to, uh, draw for our new characters until I think five more days yeah. nope that was the map because uh we won't be able to make enough primo gem and then uh the wishes that we can get are only available after a couple more days. I think it was five days. What was it? Let's see. Do -do 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 down. Eight days. God damn it. Okay, in eight days, we do it. And, uh, luckily, the new cards that are out are lasting 13 days so we'll have more than enough time and i think i'm gonna pull on this card just because the odds are more in our favor we'll have three characters that we can pull from hopefully that we don't have i swear to god if we get the new girl i'm gonna fucking lose my mind and not in a good way because she's like one of the few characters that I really do not want. Ready? Today's the big day! The new Ekpala Cup Final! We have to defeat Hania, make her see the light, and expose Kaltilia! Huh? Alright. Probably should just teleport there, that would be way faster. Do do do, don't know what I'm doing. I seriously doubt this battle is going to be like any more difficult than any of the other ones. They've all been pretty base, so. Oh yeah, I finally got to watch uh, 1899, the uh, series made by the same people that made Dark on Netflix. I thought it was pretty good. I really hope there's a season two, just because it's like a fucking weird ending where it's like, oh, we're, how, what do you do from here? <laughs> kind of situations. First of all, the first part of your question is just like, that's 90% of the females in this game, okay? <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, after some fierce competition in the round so far, we arrive at long last at the final of the Nilut Pala Cup. It's time to find out who is the very best beast tamer of all. Honea or the Traveler? If the winner of the final round makes it through the ultimate trial, they will acquire my entire fortune. It will then be their responsibility to continue hosting this tournament into the future and to promote the philosophy of peaceful coexistence throughout all of Tivat. Huh. Katoya isn't here today. Oh, this is our chance. After the final match and the ultimate trial, we'll go tip off Elhingen and confront Katilia head on! Nico, Layla, you're here! Much as I expected, the insufferable research maniac has exposed his true colors to our two protagonists. You seem to be edging ever closer to the truth. Holding off on reporting Cautilia to the Academia seems like a sensibly cautious decision at this stage. Who's to say if Cautilia, or indeed anyone else for that matter, is really who they appear to be? Yeah, we can't afford to let our guards down now. We gotta fight Hania first, the strongest beast tamer out there. And we still have no idea what we're in for with El Hingen's ultimate trial. Oh, how are we gonna get through to Hania, though? You know what really sucks? They have a voice actor for the main character. They just refuse to use it. Use him. So she has to do, like, 90% of the talking. It's like, that's so fucking dumb. Why do you even have, like, a main character voice actor if you never use him? It's, like, literally, I think only five times, if that, he's spoken. And it's just like, oh, fucker. <laughs> The answer should be quite obvious by now, surely. Take all of our fungi and defeat her fair and square. Force her to let go of her stubborn attitude and listen to the truth. Beat her into submission. Great. Just like my relationships. Ah, yeah! Bongo head, twirly whirly, and Pazara! powers combined. Winning this final will be easier than taking a radish from a hilly churl. As soon as she said with your powers combined, I just immediately thought Captain Planet? <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, our entire team's basically already locked in. Holy hell. Um, well, they got two fire types. Yeah, I'll just go with Geo. Geo's pretty strong against fire, plus it does a bunch of damage. All right. Wow, our team looks basically the same as 90% of the times we played. She knows. The day has finally arrived, Traveler and Paimon. I know your ass whooping's at hand. Do this. <laughs> I warned you not to get emotionally attached to the fungi. You have to treat them as your pawns. But it seems like you haven't changed one bit. In which case, this match will be a short one. I mentioned this before, but I really wish pe like someone would like actually bring up the fact like, he never talks, does nobody else notice this? <laughs> Everyone just projects their half of the conversation onto him. <laughs> Come on, shush. Time to 
to show you how a real beast tamer fights. Your feeble strategy will be your undoing. Go, Pyro One! This shall be your downfall? Hello? All right, let's see here. We're gonna go wind guy. Um, okay, we're going after that guy first. <laughs> Don't do that. All right, we're doing a bunch of specials right now. Oh, so close, so close, so close. There we go. All right, one down. Next one. Rock smash. No, mm. that was kind of a waste. I didn't realize I was locked onto the electric one. Use the electric guy on him. Minimum damage. Don't worry, Pyro One. They're about to reach their limit. Yeah, our limit is beating your ass. Didn't even have to do the final uh, Geo move. Sweet. Yeah, that was base. <laughs> Pyro One, why did you hold back? The healing is so broken in this mini game. Don't blame Pyro One, Hania, and don't force yourself to do something you don't want to. You started having second thoughts when Pyro One got injured during the semifinals, didn't you? You never met a well-matched opponent until you fought Miko, and now us had you. So you never had to put Pyro One or any of your other fungi in danger before. When you saw one of your fungi get injured for the first time, you realized you felt compassion for it. Compassion? You really think I feel anything for these fungi? Ah, this is such a lame-ass, like, Pokemon-esque storyline bullshit. <laughs> You grew up listening to terrible tales about the horrors of fungi. Paimon completely understands how they made you feel. But that doesn't mean that you should just treat a buddy who stands by you here as your arch enemy. You won't be able to lie to yourself forever. We fight off fierce fungi all the time, and we always used to think of them as monsters too. The whole reason we entered this tournament is because we didn't want fungi causing any trouble. But after meeting Bongo Head, we realized that if you just give them some time and treat them well, the gentler fungi will get to know you and treat you like their friends. At the very least, treat fungi like they're on your side, not as your pawns and certainly not as your enemy. Please, learn to trust Pyro One and your other fungi friends. Enough! Don't patronize me. In case you've forgotten, this match isn't over yet. Irrational anger. Oh, fuck. All around. Okay. Pyro One, release the explosion. We have two of them almost down. Uh, I'm gonna wait for Geo to come back and then we will pop that off. Boom, that took out two. Combo in water and electro. 
Got him. What is this, best of three situation? Just before the most important step of all, I failed. You two, you were the only ones who could stop me. But how, when your mindset is so childish? Hania, as we agreed, you have to hear us out now that we've won. But let's put that aside for now. Can we bring Pyro 1 along for the ultimate trial? Pyro 1? You want to take it with you? Yep. We want to pass the ultimate trial with everyone's fungi side by side. Bongo Head, Twirly Whirly, Blitzara, and Pyro 1. We looked through your notebook that day after we spoke to you, and it cleared up a lot of things. You're right to be concerned about the dangers of fungi, up to a point. Wisdom orbs come with health risks to some people. This tournament shouldn't have been promoted so widely, and there are limits to how closely fungi and humans can coexist in general. However, by making constant improvements to the Wisdom Orb and using it for friendly communication with the fungi, we can figure out which are the nice ones and gradually learn more about them. Fine, if that's what you want. I lost, so I don't get to call the shots. And I guess Pyro One would rather be with someone who actually cares about it. Put a sunk. Cheer up, Hania. I'm unsure you mean a lot to Pyro One. Uh, we have more important stuff we gotta tell you after the ultimate trial. Alright, what is the ultimate trial, anyway? That's right! You'll see things differently after you know the story. Paimon just knows it! I just had to say, what a magnificent duel! A battle between competing philosophies, as well as a showdown between two top beast tamers. Yeah, don't take it that far, buddy. What are you doing in the arena? Why, I'm here to witness the final duel, and the winner's spectacular performance in the ultimate trial. How could I possibly miss such a milestone moment in this tournament's history? He's gonna double-cross, I know it. Come now, Traveler, Paimon, it's time to prove yourselves. I have no doubt that you'll play a significant role in bringing this tournament to a whole new level. Oh, weird. For a second there, when the music was just coming in, I thought it was like saxophone, and I'm like, what the hell? Jazz? What's going on here? Why are the Fatui everywhere? Oh, Hingen, the arena's been taken over by bad guys. We'll deal with them. Get yourself to safety. Uh, wait a second. Where is the exit? Obvious double cross. The yes, let's do this. Nothing gets past you, does it? In which case, I presume you planned for this eventuality, no? Wait, this is all wrong! Isn't this the ultimate trial? Kaltoya's supposed to be the villain! He was just using this tournament for his own agenda and he tricked you into sponsoring him! Hmm, not far off. You're right about Kautilia's motivations. This started when he discovered a promising use for a forgotten technology. So I bought his loyalty, and organized this tournament to expand the reach of his technology. Though I must say, I never expected a prize catch like yourself to take the bait so eagerly. So, you weren't being fooled by Cautilia. It was you using him! This whole time you were just another lousy Fatui! Now Paimon's mad! So much for warning you about Kautilia! Bagelhead, get him! Oh, look at you! <laughs> I've got chills down my spine. But I'm afraid that's not happening. Twirly Whirly, Blitzara, Pyro One! What's going on? Oh, surprise, Double Cross. Cautilia added a handy little back door in the wisdom orbs. Yes. As soon as I send the command, all fungi under their control report to me instead. So, this whole tournament, it was just an elaborate ploy to get other people to capture fungi for you. And now you're going to make them all into your evil minions. Thank you, exposition. 
You hit all the key notes there. I hold the tournament a few times, build up an army of fungi living amongst the people, and then I can create all kinds of damage. You have to understand, this is a huge opportunity for me. My accomplishments will eclipse those of my other comrades. And then, my dear Master Dottore, left because of you, will finally realize that I can still be worth something to him. I think you totally missed the shot on that one, buddy. But now, I think I might go one step further. Oh no. Getting rid of you would be doing a major service for all the Fatui. From the foot soldiers to the harbingers. <laughs> and this could be a career-making moment for me. I'll finally earn Master Dottore's respect. Are you fucking kidding me, guy? I have taken out how many harbingers and I fucking killed gods. Do you seriously think that you could take him? I'll how delusional. A tragic accident. You placed too much trust in the fungi. Tried to push past the limits and ended up causing the whole arena to collapse with you still inside. Someone's clearly got main character syndrome. It's like, pull your jets, buddy. Once this domain sealed off, no one will ever find you. I'll have Cautilia assume all liability and criminal charges, then inform the Academia. After that, I'll invest even more into this tournament in the name of honoring your memory. I'll promote it harder. The competitions will be bigger and more frequent. Wow, he's really going through like every step of his plan too. This is some um, evil bad guy monologuing. You selfish double crashing monster! How could you? Diamonds are just about enough from you, mister! You'll never get away with this. He's a regular Scooby Doo villain. <laughs> Do? You don't have any weapons on you, and our shroom buddies won't respond to us anymore. Take your time. Pit fungi against fungi, and warriors against warriors. I want the traveler to see his buddy being destroyed. Then, once his faith is utterly shattered, put him out of his misery. This guy's way too melodramatic. <laughs> I accept that our actions thus far have not been uh, beyond reproach. But at least we can give the Traveler the ceremonious final farewell that they deserve. Yeah, get fucked. I want to fight you. This is a crime. I've activated the backdoor command three times now on the floating hydro fungus. Why is it still obeying the traveler? Is Cautilia's device malfunctioning? Oh dear, the poor thing still hasn't realized. The technology in the Wisdom Orb does make fungi more obedient to their beast tamers, but all it does to achieve this is suppress some of their basic instincts, allowing them to communicate with their owner as effectively as any other animal. The trust that these four fungi place in their beast tamers, and the bond they now share, have grown stronger than the Wisdom Orb. Guy Miko! Y you broke the domain ceiling spell? <laughs> Please! You thought your crude replicas could keep me out? You appear to have woefully underestimated who you're dealing with. Yeah, number one shrine maiden, baby. Not to mention that shoddily designed backdoor command. Did you honestly believe that no one would notice the litany of vulnerabilities in your grand plan? Curses! Miko, Leila, and Hania too! 
Oh, hang in. So this was all you're doing? Whatever threat the fungi might pose, your nefarious ambitions are the true menace here. Come on, Miss Yai. Uh, let's go help them. Easy now, Layla. All that's left for us to do now is to watch and wait. The bond of companionship is not something so easily severed by the designs or devices of humans. Blitzara, you haven't completed your mission yet. You're not thinking of giving up now, are you? You guys get to the fucking final fight, dude. Jesus Christ. Blitzara's back to normal! Is this the moment Miss Yai said we were waiting for? Twirly Whirly, I believe in you! Take this power of friendship. Yes, we got it. <laughs> the back door command is wearing off. They're all returning to normal. Still doubting what your heart tells you, Hania. You're afraid. Afraid to accept that the fungus you treated as a pawn now trusts you completely. Because then you'll be forced to face your true feelings which you have been trying so desperately to escape from. But don't keep your fungus waiting much longer. Look, now that it's no longer under the Wisdom Orb's control, it's waiting for your orders. Pyro One, are you really waiting for me? I'm sorry. I've been so harsh on you, but you still trust me. Go, do what you have to do. One way or another, it looks like all the fungi have returned to their senses! Shame on you, Elhingen! You're about to pay for what you've done! Hold the line! And keep your heads! Just a... Yeah, 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 we got it, alright, moving on. This kind of fell off a fucking cliff. Like, it was already kind of boring, but they really cranked it up to another level. Yeah, they're fucking like doing no damage to us. Well, this was well done. All right, and their main healer is just down. Oh wait, no, he's not done. Oh, that's what happened. I thought I defeated him, but he just teleported last time. Oh, round two. Okay. guy without even meaning to first. Alright, everyone heal.
This was well done! Yeah, he usually does. Actually, I need to catch up on Berserk. I haven't read that in a few months. You need to hurry up! A few measly fungi? <laughs> this is absurd. Miko, why didn't you stab him? Hmm? Oh, I'm just a tourist. As far as I'm aware, I don't have the authority to detain anybody within Sumeru's borders. Is that not the case for you, too? Still, you needn't worry. He won't escape. You'll see once you get back to the tournament arena. Ah, cryptic. Well, no time to figure that one out. On with the chase! Man, speaking of, uh... Manga... Like... I think everyone can agree Isekai has kind of went out of control. And there's an Isekai for everything. There's like... I just found out there's like four isekai specifically for like someone trying to be the best farmer it's like are you fucking kidding me you scraped the bottom of the barrel so hard you are having duplicates of some of the most boring shit ever as isekais move on people and the worst part is i tried to watch one of them because apparently one of them just got an anime and i'm like okay can it really be as bad as i think it is it is like, it could not have been any more boring or vanilla. It's just like, how? How? Is this a thing? Like, it... It's one of those shows where it's like, what's the main character's name? John Everyman? Who's such a quirky, unique guy for being completely average in any way, shape, or form. His favorite food is toast. But all the ladies love him because he treats them with basic human decency and respect. It's like, what? It's just like, oh my god. <laughs> Fucking, I'm starting to really hate Isekai now. <laughs> like, before, I thought it was just annoying, but now I'm actively starting to hate it. <laughs> Some ridiculous bull biz happening. When did they start doing the uh, Zelda one? the uh, Twilight Princess one. Because you'd think they'd release it around the time of the game, not like 10 odd years later. <laughs> the weird Zelda cartoon that happened in the 90s. Was that the 80s? Somewhere in there. Around the time Mario happened as a cartoon as well. Well, that's to be expected. Usually each volume is about 12 chapters. They do one chapter a month. That's the usual schedule for people that make manga. So yeah, that that, that seems yeah, to sync up. The core of 30. Way to show up late, guys. Good work. I did your job for you. Congratulations. <laughs> By order of the General Mahamatra, we're here to arrest El Hingen for grave crimes and Kautilia for academic misconduct. The General Mahamatra has been watching Kautilya closely for some time. He's busy dealing with other affairs today, so he couldn't find the time to apprehend the offenders himself. Of course. Thankfully, with all the evidence you gathered, we were able to swiftly bring this case to a conclusion. <sighs> the General Mahamatra wrote a letter for the two of you. Please, take a look. Thanks for doing my job. Peace. So Sino has been keeping an eye on this competition too. He and his people must have been secretly investigating at the same time we were. Okay, so that explains it. Okay, we did see Sino at the beginning of the tournament. He was just like randomly standing around and it was just like, well, that's foreshadowing. 
and way to wait like they introduced they like showed it at like the very first cutscene so of course they paid off in literally what i'm assuming is like the final scene it's like dude <laughs> All right, we'll take the suspects away now. The area will be unattended while we're gone, but with you here, I can put my mind at ease. Can you? I mean, you did a pretty shit job with this one. You might think this is over, but mark my words. I will be surprised if I ever see you again. <laughs> you haven't seen the last of me. Oh, Master Dottore! Dottore, maybe. You you are so not gonna show up ever again, like 99% of the other background characters. Oh, quit while you're behind, loser! Have fun in prison, you fatui lowlife! Oh, which part makes you sad? Like, it's insane, their schedule. Like, most mangas that come out, like... They have to do one chapter every single month, so that means they have to write the script and then get it all drawn in like a month's time to release it. That's how like most of the schedules work for those. And that's why burnout on those things are fucking brutal. And that's why One Piece is even more amazing because like it's been going on for so long and it's just like consistently good without much burnout happening. that he used our evidence so is that where Mika was going after the last 16 to hand it in and make a report I love when they do story in this but it's like 75% exposition explaining things that other people have done awesome oh please spare me that look I didn't sign up for any of this I'm supposed to be having a nice vacation but all sorts of vexing issues keep managing to find their way to me. I'm honestly very frustrated that, like, we don't get to see characters cross uh, borders too often, and that they wasted her on this. <laughs> it's just like, oh, god damn it. It could have been something way more interesting. Like, I would have loved to seen her interact with Venti over in Mondstadt during the festival. That would have been fun. After the round of 16, I simply they took... seem like heavy drinkers to me. My editors. I did have a very brief conversation with the General Mahamatra, but only because he happened to be passing by at the time. The evidence you gathered was the key to solving this case. Uh, the more you try playing it down, the more confusing it all sounds. Um... Anyway, now that the organizer and the sponsor have both been arrested, what should we do about the fungi in this tournament? The rules still stand. These little ones won the tournament and passed the ultimate trial, which means they'll be taking Elhingen and Kautilia's place. From now on, everything about this tournament will be up to these two to decide. And after all the experience they've gained, I'm sure they are more than up to the task. Lady Kitsune told me everything. The fungi that attacked my ancestors were out of control because they'd gone berserk. Amazing. Everything I thought I knew about the fungi was based on a misunderstanding. It's all been a pack of lies. Oh, much too far. If by that you mean, thank you, Miko, then you're welcome. Hania needed a little pep talk to perk her up so that she would join us in taking a stand against Elhingen. How else was I supposed to motivate her? You don't have to say anymore. I was too close-minded. I know that now. I kept telling myself the same things, lying to myself until I became numb. But now I've seen the truth with my own eyes. Even without the Wisdom Orb, Pyro One willingly followed my instruction. It trusted me all along. God, I hate, I hate characters like her. It's like, I believe this one thing and that's never gonna change. And then one person walks up to her. Hey, ha have you thought about this? We're like, I have changed my mind. <laughs> it's like, fucking 
flip-flopping all over the place. I hold my hands up. I was wrong. You're well within your rights to criticize me, and I accept whatever punishment you deem appropriate. Punishment? What do you take us for? Sure, you said some pretty scary things, and you were way too strict with Pyro 1, but clearly you've already learned your lesson. It's not like you were planning a genocide of a species or anything. Oh, wait. Yeah, you were. Actually, having said that, Hyman has an idea. first time speaking to so many people from a stage like this. Oh, Paimon's getting butterflies. Paimon and the Traveler are super happy that we were lucky enough to win this tournament and even expose a criminal conspiracy while we were at it. The responsibility for continuing to hold this tournament in the future now lies in our hands. We are never gonna do this side quest type of side quest ever again. Ugh. Now, and the sponsor in jail, but you can all breathe a huge sigh of relief because the prizes are still being issued as promised. Good job, everyone. You all get a firm handshake. <laughs> Good work. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Good woo! And that's a good call. However, unfortunately, the wisdom orbs currently have a harmful effect on their surrounding environment. So they pose a risk to people's health. This means that we won't be able to keep our fungi friends around for the long term. So, for the sake of everyone's well-being, over the coming days, we recommend that everyone entrust their fungi into the care of the best darn beast tamer in town, Hania! But you won't be away from them for too long. While Hania takes care of your fungi, we'll be talking to the Academia with the goal of trying to resolve the current issues with the Wisdom Orb as soon as possible. Yeah, Hania. You know, the girl that was just yesterday talking about killing them all. And of course, this tournament was so much fun. It'd be a real shame if it was a one-off affair. I'm unsure you've got a big appetite for more fungi fun and games. If you say so. So once the technical issues are all sorted out, and we're all reunited with our fungi friends, let's battle it out all over again! Oh, so that's my punishment. Think of it more as a reward for being the runner-up. Don't think of it that way, Miss Hania. Spending time with shroom buddies is actually really fun. Uh, right, Twirly Whirly? I'm gonna miss you, Twirly Whirly. Take good care of my best shroom buddy. Oh. Traveler, Paimon, <laughs> Layla, and Lady Kitsune. What can I say? You're a fascinating bunch. decision with everyone watching you better look alive <laughs> yeah don't worry i get it as a beast tamer i accept your proposal i will do my utmost to care for these fungi and treat them like the treasured companions that they are to their masters <laughs> now those sound like the words of an awesome person called hania that paima wants to be friends with just wish she'd shown us this hania sooner anyway Let's spend some final quality time with our shroom buddies. Then we'll all meet up in Port Ormos. Alright. Complete! Wait two days. I ain't got that kind of time, Jack. All right, let's see here. Did we complete the quest we needed to? 
Not that. This one. We did! We got a new character, yay. Alright, let's actually take a look at her real quick. I think we only tried her out once, and I didn't really get a good grasp on what she did. Come on, let's go! There's a fortune to be made! Alright, let's... Actually, hold on. Let's equip her with some stuff. First... I think I might equip her with the lamp that we got, that 10 star. I mean, not 10 star, Jesus Christ, no, 5 star. Who is it? Oh! Oh! I feel like I had this realization before on stream where I thought she was a magic user, but it turns out she's actually a buster sword user. I've definitely had this moment on stream before. Huh. I keep forgetting that, that that's a thing. Alright, we'll give her this one. Can we level this up higher? Boom. Alright. Yeah, she just screams like magic user. I don't know why. Actually, she might be the first, like, short character that uses a claymore. I think. Um, artifacts. I'm not going to put any on her yet. Alright, and then let's give her some levels. Does this mean you're in bed? We fight that was Electro. Huh, I do not remember that. The more the merrier. Okay, so that's basically where she caps out at for us for right now. Hey, we get one of these! Oh! Quacky. Actually, wait, I always forget that they give those out as rewards. Um, Once we get her above level 50, we'll get another one. And then Sayu should be... Oh, we haven't even boosted Sayu. All right, well, let's at least boost her so we can get the wish. Oh. Is it just me? Or did it is just you. She's also a Claymore user. What the? Why do I not remember this? Well, I don't use her to be start with, but yeah. All right. Oh, whoa. Hold on. Uh, accidentally. There we go. There we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, might as well. We got we get like forty of those things. Awesome. Yeah, there's a few. I think that's actually I think that might be the only like gag weapon.
Holy hell. Ooh, 50, that might be. Yeah, not a big fan of the level up system in this game. Instead of like actually earning XP, you just get these pieces of paper instead. All right, sweet. So we got two, we got a total of three wishes. And yeah, we've been on a weird roll with those. We've done 13 wishes so far, 13 or 14, and we haven't pulled like anything. So we are due because usually it's every 10, you'll get at least one four star or up. So we are due a four star or up. Nope, nothing. All right. So that's like 14, 15 ish. Seriously? Wow. We're gonna hit 20 and still not pull anything from this. Oh, purple. There we go. All right, we got something. Motherfucker. Okay. Giant Claymore that we already have. I'll take it out of desperation. <laughs> Um, let's see. Oh, hey, okay, so this is only level four, which means we can uh, level it up to the next level. Fish sword. <laughs> Alright, let's enhance this sucker. Boost. Oh, and we have that to level it up too. Oh, very little XP on that one. Yeah, actually, hold on. Let me look. I don't think we have any other gag weapons. That was the only one. Yeah, we never got those. <laughs> like, all of these people are just like Buster Sword or Regular Sword users. Alright, Spears. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we just got this one too, I forgot about. It's a weird spear. That one's pretty dope. And then this one I think is awesome. Bows, we don't really have anything. This one I still think is the coolest looking bow. Alright, and then a magic user. All we have is a magic lamp and a bunch of books. Actually, it looks pretty cool. Ah, oh, that's why I thought she was magic user. Yeah, she... that was her thing. All right. Wait, why did it have us come over here and talk to her? Oh shit, that- that's weird. Okay, it kicked us over to the other event. That's why. Okay, that's the photo event. I thought that was just some rando. I was like, what the hell?
Okay, farewell to the shroom buddies. Okay, wait two days. Weird, why'd it kick over? Alright, um... Let's go timer. Two days. Probably going to do Witcher 3 first, and then Mafia will be the second one. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do Mafia, because I have all three games, but I don't want to do them all back to back, so. is with this game they started doing this where it's like we have to revisit everyone from like the quest series that we just did it's like why why do i have to go see each individual person can we just not all meet up at one place and be like boom done moving on we shall see if it is a yay but i refuse to get super deep into gwent <laughs> Traveler, Paimon, Bunglehead, over here. Yeah, who knows? It's just, I don't want to get burnt out on the game series. Definitely. With Twirly Whirly helping me carry my luggage, we could go camping really far away. And I got to see the stars from a different perspective. Oh, I even managed to make some progress with my paper. Uh, although, I've tried making almost everything on my food list now. Every time I used flour or something, it got in the air and gave me a coughing fit. <laughs> But after all that, I still haven't figured out what Twirly Whirly likes. It would be great if the improved Wisdom Warp allowed us to communicate directly with the fungi. Oh, oh, oh. I should mention that in my letter and get someone to ask a Senior Immortus Scholar. Hyman's never seen you in such good spirits, Layla. You spoke a lot more than usual just now, and you're still full of life! You really go the extra mile for your shroom buddies! Uh, uh, I think I might have overexerted myself, though. I'm flagging hard. Uh, let's go see Miss Yai before I crash. Uh... Know how you feel. Yeah, isn't Atelier... Is that turn-based? I, I can't remember. Miko, you're not leaving, are you? It feels like you never got to properly enjoy your vacation here. Oh, my needs for amusement have been more than met. Thanks to your help, our little inspiration hunt went perfectly. Not only did we gain invaluable experience in the tournament, we also had all the excitement of exposing a criminal conspiracy. Yes, I think I might ask Soka to ditch her original characters and just make you the protagonists in her next novel. Why don't you just write the book? <laughs> True. It all makes sense now. 
You dropped so many hints, but it went over Paimon's head at the time. Why didn't you expose our opinion right away, though? Why wait for things to escalate like they did? Going for the big reveal right at the beginning would have been an anti-climax of the most literal kind. I wanted to see how you'd react in a situation like this, and you did not disappoint. I thought that the story between you and the fungi would follow a master-servant paradigm, but you offered something even better. Companionship, based on mutual understanding. From a certain point of view, it seems fitting that Elhingen, the one person who could barely keep the word master from his lips, met his downfall at your hand. Of course, considering what he's capable of, I'm sure he'll have his ways of continuing to put up a fight. <sighs> Paimon's getting confused again. In the future, we should take notes when Miko's talking and carefully look over them later. Oh, that's enough chatting for now. I'll leave Blitzara in your hands. Remember to take good care of it. I hope you really give this a good shot, you and Hania. The future of this highly entertaining tournament depends on the decisions you make from now on. I'm excited to see what you've got in store for us. Oh wait, hello. Weird, one of the little floating orbs is just clipping through. Alright, let's get up there. It looks like it's over near the shop. I think I might alternate uh, between Mafia and the Digimon series since Digimon is turn-based and Mafia is more of like a GTA-esque style or it's like an open world running and gunning oh. wait was I wrong oh shit I thought it was just like right over here this person's not even in the city are they I'm terrible at judging distance. <laughs> Alright. Never mind that. We'll just teleport to him then. Lame! Yeah, plus it's three games in each series, so that would be perfect. Swap. Oh, I don't know. How long is uh, Witcher 3 with all, like, all the DLC? You should probably look that up to see what time frame I'm looking at. And then double it. Because of shenanigans. We'll see how many Mafia games I can get through before I beat The Witcher 3. <laughs> Right on time. Hello. I've collected all the other contestants' wisdom orbs and found a suitable place for our fungi friends to live. I'll make absolutely sure the surrounding environment is not affected. Say hello to everyone, Kindlejoy. That's Pyro One's new name. When I saw how well behaved it was when we first met, a sense of joy welled up inside me. If I just let go of my preconceived notions about fungi and allowed myself to truly feel that moment, maybe I could have felt like that all this time. I'm so glad Hania has finally worked things out. <laughs> yeah! Even though Paimon has gotten used to the name Pyro One at this point, the new name holds so much more significance! I will commit to giving these gentle creatures the highest standard of care I can provide. Please, rest assured that your fungi friends will be safe with me. 
I guess it's time for us to say goodbye. Go on, Twirly Whirly. Be a good fungus now and do everything that Hania says. Now she starts to get really genocidal again and then dip out. But Zara, Mika will be back to visit when the next Beast Tamers tournament comes around. It was really fun having you around. Paimon hopes that you have a good time at Hania's. And is really looking forward to seeing you again next time. I hope when they... I'm assuming when, not if. When they bring this back around, this story is more interesting. Because, like, the guy with the whole heel turn thing, it was just like... Eh. Whatever. Honestly, I'd just rather have, like, I am your rival and I'm going to beat you. Haha. -ha. You know, classic... Pokemon shenanigan ripoff rather than the terrible villain part. I hope that the day when humans and fungi can live in harmony will come quickly. I believe in you all. You'll make it happen. I look forward to the good news. You mean the thing you didn't believe in just yesterday, you now wish more than anything will happen? It's like awesome. Yeah, do you really, uh, really all over the place, lady? They're like, what, 25? Get your shit together. Complete. Alright, well that's done. That took way longer than I thought, holy shit. I thought we'd be finished with this, like, at most within the first 40 minutes. Not taking almost two hours to complete. Holy hell. <laughs> Alright, battle pass, which... It's insane this game has a battle pass. <laughs> oh, wow, that gave us a lot. It was just two whole levels. Ooh, and we get another wish! Fancy. Sweet, let's pop that then. And it's gonna be nothing. I'm so fucking psychic. <laughs> Nailed it. It's nothing. Alright, let's actually check the shop. We got like a few duplicates, so how much did we get in return for that? Oh shit, we did get one of those! Yay! Sweet. One of the good ones. And then we saved the rest. Eight days. Yeah, I, I can't even remember. Um, I think it's three. We need three of those before it's under a thousand Primo Gem we need. So... Right now, it's still, like, yeah, it's still pretty high. They only knock, like, roughly 200-ish off for each one of those. Huh? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> nope! Oh, fine. Yeah, I don't think they ever actually explained what the hell that thing is. <laughs> Alright, character-wise... Nothing really special or new. Oh, hey, we can get that. It looks like all my rigor- Nope, we still need that fungus, alright. she need she was like one of our first characters we got and i just never did anything with her just because she was so crappy like her alt is really good but other than that she was pretty weak sauce wow we're actually low on this we're like never low on slime stuff because we usually take them out Ujisara. 
What's her face? Oh, please. Aloy for some reason. I really want there to be another guest character. Because it, it's just so fucking random just to have this one rando. God, we are low, so low on like everything. I created another universe and founded paradise. Yeah, yeah, we've heard the shtick before. God, they all need this batch. Shit. Yeah, some serious grinding needs to be done, unfortunately. Ah! For a couple of these guys. This one's not bad. This one should be pretty easy to do. Our boy Bennett. Oh, Best boy Bennett. Wow. Where did that come from? Actually, he's good. He's level 80. 80 is good enough. We got this sick ass sword on him, which is actually like the lowest tier weapon that you like want to have on him. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, that's level 10, 20, 20, 20. No. Let me boost this. Oh, that raised it 2%. Nice. HP bonus. Can't remember if Bennett had some sort of like weird thing that I needed to remember about him. Like Ito, you want to raise his defense because his like crit damage is based off of his defensive power. I can't remember if Bennett had anything like that. Oh yeah, child, I should probably look at his artifacts since he's like the only archer I actually like using. Yeah, I need to get more of his stuff, too. Yeah, right now, Ito is in a super good spot for us. I just need to level up everyone else in his party so, like, they can combo with him better. And then we can have, like, a whole new set of people play as consistently. All right. We can afford to do anything. Even take on the academia. Okay, let's see here. We completed that whole event, basically. So now this is left, and this is for 12 days. But honestly, I'm a little burnt out because of all, like, just a lot of just talking cutscenes. Like, nothing's more boring in a video game than just, like, watching more cutscenes. It's like, this isn't a reaction channel. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> So I think I'm going to call it here. We're almost at time for today. And then on uh, Thursday, when we pick this back up, we'll do this, which this is, this seems like a very background ancillary thing. So who knows? Maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll do some exploring or something. Actually take a break. Or actually, wait, we have a bunch of... Wrong one. Wrong one. We got a bunch of... These quests we can do. Hello. Yeah, holy shit. I didn't realize we had so many. I thought we had like two of these. And then we have like a bunch of these that we can do. Which, by the way, mind-blowing. I still haven't done Beto's. And yeah, they're all... Oh, except for Sayu. She has six endings. Everyone else has five alternate endings. So we could do one of these or one of these. I am partial to doing Sinos. And him, I forget he's in the game half the time. <laughs> Until I see him and I'm like, oh yeah, we talked to him once. Alright, so we'll probably... Well, maybe we'll do one of those next time. Like, they do... They keep us so busy with, like, events and stuff that... Some of those um, side quests we have to like unlock, I completely forget about. 
But yeah, it looks like we'll be doing this next time. So yeah, that is it for today, guys. Thanks for coming out and hanging out on day 812 of streaming in a row. Good God. Tomorrow, we're going to be getting back into some more Final Fantasy XII. Uh, continuing, just like more exploring, looking around. Maybe finding another summons. Hopefully one that is in another pain in the Tukus. Because that last one kind of sucked. Although I can't believe I completely randomly came across that. I was just passing through. I was, I was just trying to get through that area when I realized, oh, we can actually turn those things on. And that led to a whole new puzzle thing. So it's like, sweet. Stumbling our way through success. That's the motto of this channel. <laughs> But anyway, that is it for today. Tomorrow, Final Fantasy XII. Thursday will be more Genshin Impact. Friday, Final Fantasy XII. And then this weekend, we'll be getting back into some more Yakuza, where we'll be continuing more of the main story. Because, my God, we've had to do, like, three streams of nothing but main story just because, like, no side quests are really, like, coming to us too much. Although, no, we did take quite a bit of time last stream. To do a lot of more ancillary stuff but anyway that is the plan for the next couple of days like always there's links down below for my twitter where i tweet out every day what i'm online when i'm playing as well as a link over to my youtube channel where all my previous streams are archived over there but yeah that is it for today guys thanks for coming out and hanging out and i will see you all tomorrow with some final fantasy 12. see you